Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the latest updates to the Navigraph Microsoft Flight Simulator Beta for MSFS 2020 and over the last few days it's updated now to Beta 24. For those of you with uh, the Aerosoft CRJ particulars you'll notice there's a huge difference here. So now you'll notice there's three options instead of just the one as before. We've got the AirAct cycle at the top as we did before. We can just go ahead and hit install and it will uh, it'll work its way through the install process there. But we also now have a Navigraphs Charts in-game panel which is something we're going to take a look at very shortly and it's really quite cool. So we can go ahead and install that. And now finally we can update the Aerosoft CRJ packages, the nav data for the Aerosoft CRJ within this nav data center. So a really cool feature. The manual process, which I talked about in a video uh, a week or so ago, showed you how to do it manually. Now they've finally added the, an automatic update function. So we can just go ahead and click update there. Let it do its thing. And once it's updated, it will give us the um, green light again, basically. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below folks while you're here and let me know what you think in the comments below as well. All the links including the link to the latest Beta 24 client for Navigraph will be in the links, will be in the description down below. So be sure to check that out and read the description too. So there we go, all of that is done. Let's go and take a look at what it all looks like in the simulator. So in the sim then. We've spawned at Trondheim, Aerosoft Trondheim uh, in the Aerosoft CRJ700 in the awesome channel livery as well, which you guys can get hold of via our Discord server exclusively. And all the nav data is installed inside the FMS. Now, if we go to the UI, you'll notice we've got the Navigraph logo, Navigraph charts integration as well. So the um, toolbar tab at the very top is ever expanding with the pushback toolbar mod that I've talked about and also Navigraph charts now. So if we click that, initially it will come up with a sign in request, and you could just go ahead and click that. Head to the website at the top, navigraph.com slash code, and enter whatever code they give you. Don't share it with anyone else until it's authorized because otherwise you're effectively sharing the code with other people. Or you can scan the QR code. Once that's done, it will allow you into the charts screen. And we can go ahead and expand that. And we can do everything that we can do in the program usually inside Microsoft Flight Simulator now, which is really cool. So, so ENVA at the top. The only problem here is the fact that it also becomes an issue with keybinds. So that is something to bear in mind. Uh, but there we go. We've got all of our ground charts. Question is, will we get the magenta arrow? Not yet. So there we go, we can read all of our charts. We can look at the approach plates, and scroll through those all inside the sim. Really cool new feature from Navigraph. Now for me, I prefer it being a standalone program, so I, I would probably keep using it as an external program rather than the one that's built into the sim, only because keybinds become a bit of a problem as you're typing in airport codes at the top. However, the workaround for that would be to import your flight plan via SimBrief, and then it will pull up your flight plan that you're going to be flying. And all you need to do then really is click the tabs for the airports in particular so it removes the need for you to type in anything into the search box really. Really nice update from Navigraph with the latest beta version for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So I hope you've enjoyed it, found it useful, very brief introduction to the update from Navigraph. Be sure to click the like button down below and subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And when I'm live next come and say hello in the live chat. In the meantime though as always folks Thanks very much for watching.